right, there we go. Hey everyone, Richard Carlton here. Welcome to another great day of FileMaker training at fmtraining.tv. I'm the creator of fmtraining.tv where you can learn all about the FileMaker platform and learn how to build better FileMaker applications for you, your customers, your organization. This broadcast is completely free to everyone and is being broadcast in high definition to Discord, YouTube, and to Twitch. This broadcast is being recorded, which is really great. Of course, we might clean up the recording a little bit. So if we make a malfunction during the live stream, then of course we reserve the right to clean that up on the recording later on. However, because it's a live broadcast, we encourage you to ask questions. In fact, some people get aggravated when there's this dialogue with you and we ask questions. I, I, we want questions. If you have a question, odds are other people have the question too. And so I want to thank everyone for logging in, Ken and TK and Dave, Dave One, Dave Learning, uh, Ed, uh, Elzo, uh, Carol, Jake, Mike, all of you, welcome once again to another great broadcast. Now, as a reminder, if you want to check out the upcoming broadcast, go to fmtraining.tv, press the left tab for the live button. You can see the upcoming broadcast schedule. That's pretty awesome. Additionally, if you want to help support this channel, right? We always say this, uh, this broadcast is brought to you by fmtraining.tv, bringing you the greatest and the most entertaining FileMaker training videos available. So the idea is that if you want to help support the channel, make sure you check out our on-demand video bundles. We have videos that cover the latest version of FileMaker. We have videos that cover the deploy course. In fact, we used to sell the courses individually anymore. It's just much simpler to sell a complete bundle for a low price. We do this on an annual basis. So if you buy one of the bundles that really helps support the channel, it ensures that we can keep coming back every day. All right, everyone, welcome to another awesome day. I'm Richard Carlton. A lot of you are laughing. Nick Hunter is here. Nick, are you still there? Did I hang up on Nick? I might have hung up on Nick. That could be a real... No, I'm are, here. Oh, you're still there. Okay, I was worried about that. So what we're today discussing is indexing and finds and basic FileMaker kind of capabilities. And so we had a little bit of a false start. We're going live now. Why don't you start us off at the beginning with this conversation about indexes and finds and things like that? Yes. Okay, so let's talk. Let, let's start talking about the index. So let me share my screen here, right quick. Um, and uh, so, first of all, uh, I need to explain why we need to index. Okay, there's two main reasons why we need to index. First of all, if you need to search something in a field, FileMaker needs to index. Um, something you need to know also it's that FileMaker, are you know, are, when, when what we see as a record here, okay. For FileMaker, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty much something like, uh, it's more something like this with the, the, the plenty of numbers like this, and then you have a, a separation like this, and then you have a field name uh, like last, and then you have a kind of a, a parenthesis, and then you, you see, so it's kind of a catalog like this, you know, it's, uh, it, it's, it's more looking something like this with a plenty of numbers. And so behind the scene, uh, a a FileMaker is, um, is is cataloging the the fields like this. All I mean the the field the information, everything that uh, it needs to be stored for FileMaker to understand what's going on, what what displaying, how and stuff like that. Everything is kind of uh, coded and um, organized in a way that normally a human being cannot read, right? But um, but then you have the magic of of the of the, the database engine that displays the, the data for you, right? So, but in order to work, FileMaker need to index uh, data in, in the text, okay? And text and number, every everything that is character based, like this, right? Uh, FileMaker need to be uh, to index if you want to search, uh, if you want to search, and if you want to uh, what's the name? If you want to um, uh, have a relationship between two table, okay? So, for example. When you have a, a relationship like this, okay, so you have two fields involved in the relationship, okay? So uh, this field here, the target field needs to be indexed, not the, the, the parents. The parent doesn't need to be indexed. The, the, what's the name? This field needs to be indexed, okay? So now, 
uh, I don't want to go too far with this because otherwise we are going to start talking about the relationship where I don't want to do that. But something you need to know with Farmaker, uh, a relationship is bi-directional. Okay. So when you talk about um, when you talk about SQL and all the, the all the database system, uh, relationship are one way only A to B, you know, but not B to A. If you not so A to B, not B to A. So if you not uh, SQL, you need to have two relationships, one B, A to B, or B or B to A. If you want both direction, okay. Farmaker doesn't work that way. A farmaker is if you are position you if you position yourself here, you have the result here from this table. If you pre, if you position yourself in that table here, Farmaker will display the result from here. So it's bidirectional automatically. So that implies that Farmaker needs to have both potentially needs to have both field indexed. Okay, but typically. If you don't, if you have, if you if you are in a relationship that is A to B, which is more likely the case in a, a, a anchor buoy a relationship um, a map, okay, uh, you don't need to take care of this. I mean, you you don't need to index the field that is here, okay. So you can see here, it's funny because talking about index, I ref I, I made a reference to um, um, a relationship. So you need to learn about relationship to understand index, and I made uh, and I also made a reference to the Enkubui kind of type of relationship. See, everything is intertwined together here, and uh, so. But today we are just talking about the index. So I'm going to explain how to deal and how to manage indexing in FarmMaker. So FarmMaker uh, is uh, fortunately and unfortunately. Uh, is a very forgiving software. You know, Farmaker allows you to do a, l everything you do. Or pretty much is like you leave the, the your eight-year-old kid for a weekend at home alone. That's what Farmaker allows you to do. Okay. So sometime you can come back on the, on Monday night, on Monday morning, and you have the house on fire. Okay. So so it's uh, that's a possibility. Okay. So or you need two weeks to clean up the mess. Okay. So. So uh, Farmaker is like this, okay? So now we need to, I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to manage this. So um, index are managed in the, man, you need to go to manage database. So you need to go uh, from here, here, manage database, and then you need to go to see the fields. You can see here, uh, here on the, on the, on this column here, Farmaker is going to tell you which one is indexed, which one is not. Actually, that the only po that the only way that the only place in the software where you can see who is indexed and who is not. Okay. So otherwise, you need to run the the developer uh, the database design report, which which you know you don't want to do. Um, so um, the 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 indexing um, options is when you double click on the field here. You have what they call storage, which doesn't make me, me, so it makes sense um, because uh, the storage is how you store data. Okay, so uh, here you have three different um, you have three different kind of uh, options here. You have none, you have minimal, and you have all. Okay, so none means no index, no indexing. That means this none checked. That means normally Farmaker cannot search in, in this in this field. You cannot search, and you cannot generate value list out of this. A value list needs to be indexed. Okay, and you cannot use that as a foreign key neither for a relationship. If you are like this, minimal is what you need for our index for relationships. Okay, for relationship you need the minimal. That that what you need. Okay, uh, to create a relationship between two fields. Okay, and all this what you need when you want to search in it. You know, when you want to search in a field, you need the all stuff. Okay, so now, normally you know, I I never touch this. You know, unless I don't want the index to be created. 
because sometimes I don't want the, 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 the index to be created. FileMaker has the ability to automatically create the index for, for you when it's needed, okay? But sometimes I don't want, okay? And I'm going to show you why we don't want, okay? So by default, when you create a field, when you create a field, by default, the index is on none automatically, okay? So that is what this field is. So now, if you go there, and you display this test field. Let's let's take this um, a nice thing that I created. Let's say I'm showing the the test field here. Okay, I'm showing the test field. Okay, so and I'm putting some names here. I'm putting some. I'm Ninek and I'm putting Rick, and I'm putting Ken. Where else we have? We have Bunny. Okay. So see, so far so good. I put data in it. And as you can see here, my test field is still not indexed. What happens if I start looking for something? Something I want Nick, for example. I'm searching in the field. I perform a find, and I found Nick. What happened now? You can see my test field is now indexed. OK? So and is it minimal? Because I told you that the all is for search, but it, it, it should be, it can be all as well depending on the search you do. Um, so, uh, but automatically, Pharmaca did the job for me. Okay, so, um, the, so no, so far so good. You know, so it creates the index for you. You don't care about this and stuff like that. So, but here the problem on this. Um, Sometimes we search on fields and we don't know what we do. You know, sometimes we have a we, we show a plenty of fields. So let me show you fields like the dates, email, first, last, phone, postal, state, title, type, whatever. You know, we, we display a bunch of fields, okay, and we want to search on on those, okay, on those. So here I want to do a, a kind of a dramatic exp um, um, kind of a demonstration. Okay, let's say I want to deactivate. Are uh, uh, the the index on all those fields? Okay, city is deactivated. Emails, I want to deactivate this. What else do we have? First, I want to deactivate this. Okay, and last, I want to deactivate this. And phone, activate. So pretty much here, I'm destroying. Their, their index, you know, I'm cleaning the file, you know, doing this, cleaning the file and state. Okay, so see, I have no, no, none of this. Okay, so I, the, I completely wiped the index from that, from those fields. So see, a CD, there's no index, and the state type, states, the last, there's no index anymore. So now let's say I have 80,000 fields. Let's say I want to search in C, I want to search center, okay? And I perform the script. So it, here, you know, is what is what the, the system have done, right? So he, he created the, the the index, so CD. So he, cre he created for me the index, right? So if I'm showing all, that's funny because he shouldn't have done that by the way, okay? So let, let me do another another explain, another demonstration here because it doesn't it didn't work the way I wanted. Uh, so let's say I want to go to the last, and I want to force FileMaker to create the minimal index, okay? On the last name. So here what happened? So see, he create records. He creates kind of a, something. He did something. So now let's go to the email for example, and I want to create the all index. I want to force it to create the all index on emails. See, so he create, create, create. So what he's doing here is creating email. Is he's creating index for the email, right? So the demonstration is this: if you do that for all your fields, okay, if all your fields are indexed, okay, uh, at the end of the day, you're going to have a giant file, and the file will be inflated will be big and fat because of the, all those indexes that it needs to carry, okay? 
So it doesn't make a big, a dif a big difference if you have a, a little file, small file with three tables and stuff like that. But if you start having a big giant files with plenty of tables and a lot of records, a lot of records, you will have problems. Your file will be 200 gigabyte, 300 gigabyte, and the server will be uh, will be completely uh, out of control because uh, each time you do something, each time you um, each time you change a data in a field, you are de-indexing and re-indexing. So you are Pharmaker is wiping out the index and replacing by another one. You will say, okay, big deal. Yes, it is. It is a big deal because let's say you have a lot of tables, you have a lot of records, and you have many users in your system doing the same thing. So pretty much you can you can get easily 20 to 25 percent of your server busy just for indexing. And Pharmaker did a job. They tell they told you indexing improved performance for some operation like fines, support for something like relationship join and field value uh, unique uniqueness and stuff. Okay, at the cost of increased file size and time spent indexing. I'm not inventing it. Time, that's a cost, okay? So each time that, each time when there's a cost, unless you are a billionaire, each time you have a cost, you need to say, okay, do I need that? Okay, can we save some money here, right? Can we postpone the expense, right? Is it mandatory to have it, mandatory, whatever, right? So this is what that's a question you need to you know uh, that's a question you need to ask yourself when you see the word cost. Okay. So now we have some question here. Um, uh, so uh, yes, but you have to be careful over building the layout unless it's throwing anchor buoy. Okay. So I have a question here from Net Net Lobster. Uh, would be nice if FM would give us a way to delete all indexes at once instead of going to the field, field to field. But Pharmacy gave it to you. Let me show you. Uh, so it's kind of hidden, but it's there. So you go to recover. So you close the file and you go to recover. Uh, so uh, I wonder empower your search. Um, hold on. Okay. And then you click. You have a you have a button here. Ch name check consistency. Okay. And then uh, you you can you can uh, check the consistency. Oh, no 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 no. Sorry. Uh, do I have a yeah check consistency? Where is the oh option? Sorry sorry sorry. So let me show you. Uh, so let me show you. So you have. You have a, when you say recover, you have an option here, okay, and check consistency. But I want to, uh, uh, Rick, how we can? Uh, do I need to say uh, with the with the um, where I can I have the options to recover? You have to have the lot local. File has to be closed and it has to be local, right? Yeah, it's local. Uh, okay, so is it closed? Is it closed? Yeah, it's closed. Okay, go back to that again. It. Uh, there, okay, select, yeah. Oh, here, sorry. So I need to, you need to click on uh, select, and then you have use advanced options. Correct, okay. yeah, yeah. There okay, you go. so let me redo, uh, okay, uh, hold on, hold on. Let me redo it, uh, because it's, uh, it's uh, it was, so, you go to FileMaker, okay, you keep going to the, you say recover, FileMaker tells you this. You select the file you want. Okay. You say select. Then he asks you to rename the file recovered. Then here you have a use advanced option and you can rebuild field indexes. So you uh, you uncheck everything, you know. So you copy the file. You don't do this, you know. And you can say later as needed. So pretty much, you re doing this, you reset the, your index to letter as needed, okay? Or you can just say now, and it keeps doing the thing like, you know, right now. So you can rebuild indexes right now here, right?
So I don't know if that answers your question, but that uh, that's what you can do. Uh, you you rebuild them here because sometimes sometimes indexes can be a little bit tricky. Okay, uh, they can be a little bit uh, they they can broke they can break they can they can be in, uh, inconsistent, especially if you force quit or whatever the file or something happened to your file or whatever you know you you lost connection with your with your you know let's say you lost you lost connection with your um um server okay and you were editing your field or something like that or there's there's a way that you can have a, a an index that is not in sync with the the real data so that is something you can do uh, that that's something i'm doing by the way on all my field all my uh, my um, solution once a year I'm doing this okay once a year I'm doing this uh, and uh, and I'm doing this too and uh, I'm, I'm doing I'm pretty much doing this um, those uh, rebuild field table schema I'm doing those three things here um, those four things to rebuild make sure that everything is perfect um, so so I hope that gives you the answer uh, something, uh, something we need to we need to know about uh, about this. Um, hold on, let me open this here. Uh, something we need to know here um, is sometimes you don't want fields to be indexed, like those, for example. Those fields, and I will never search on this field, never, ever, uh, and I will never use them as a what's the name uh, as a, a relationship. Uh, feel uh, you know connection so I just say known and sometimes even I say okay I prevent the thing to happen even though I remove automatically create index as needed then it never creates even by accident okay so you need to make sure that all the field you need to be indexed are indexed okay and sometimes there's things you don't need to be indexed okay so um uh, cities, yeah. If you search in cities, you need that. Email, if you search an email, you need index address. For example, those you can have them uh, the 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 first, the last, but my, maybe not the full name, because uh, the full name you won't search on it. The full name for most of the time I'm using full name as a display, but I don't search on it. I search on last and first. See, so because most of most of the time I'm using. Uh, you know the full name, the full name to be uh, uh, just something I display on the screen, but I, I, I search on last and first. I don't, I don't search in this. You see, I can't even search in this because the full name here is just a display inside the name of a of a popover. So I don't, I will never go there, never. So I don't want accidentally to be activated because if you activate it, it will index that uh, even though you don't need it. Right, so it's so it's uh it's stupid. So now uh, let me go further a little bit in the Nick. Uh, you can recover and delete the index in the recover, but not in the live database. No, not in live database. No, uh, you need to shut down the database and and do all those things. That's why I'm doing that once a year. Uh, you know, once a year on Sunday night. Uh, for example, I don't know if you bank do that, but I have a, I'm in a credit union and I know every Saturday afternoon. Uh, you know. Uh, one day I had a heart attack, almost. I go to my bank uh, on my app, on my phone, and I see checking zero dollar, saving zero dollar, and available credit on my credit card zero dollar. I say, okay, what the heck is this? Okay, so I call them like in emergency, and they say, oh yeah, don't worry, we shut down our system pretty much every Sunday night. Okay, cool, you know. So what that's what they do. Okay, now they now they they stop the, the app working. They say, okay, we are conducting some stuff, and you, you can so pretty much you can do the same thing. Uh, once a year, you shut down the file and say, okay, hey, you know what, I'm doing some maintenance stuff. Okay, uh, it's giving the you and sir is was thinking not real time without closing up. I think, take, okay, yeah. So uh, would it be possible for live with SQL drop index? What the what SQL drop index? Would it be possible for live with SQL? I don't know what I mean. It's taking about a uh, script step set field. Okay, he's he's talking about having a script step. Oh, a script step set field index. No, yeah, no, we cannot do that. Yeah, it, it could be nice. It could be nice, but 
I don't. Uh, then we say this is. Then we argue with this at Farmaker. Then we argue hard, hard with this. Okay, let's be continue. So um, now for uh, pretty much what happened with this index. What what the index doing? So uh, pretty much I have my own index. That means I can index my own fields. I can do my own data. I can do my own index. Okay. So I build a, 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 a custom function for that. So I have my custom function index. And here what happened. So let's say I want to index Nick Hunter, okay, for example. So I want to index this. And here what happened. This is what the index do. Okay. So, so far so good, okay. So this is the all index. This is the all one, okay. Uh, that means he's doing all the words, you know. If I have multiple words, he's doing all the words, you know. All, all the words. All means all, you know. All means all, and each time you increase, uh, you put more stuff. You see, it get longer and longer and longer and longer. See, so so far so good. You say, okay, yes, it's great. Are that great? Uh, th so it's not harmful at all. So when does it start to be harmful? First of all, um, it start to be harmful when you have a lot of fields. A lot of records and a lot of users. Okay, that is start to be a problem. And there's a fourth category is when you have a lot of text in the field. I let you see. Imagine. Actually, I cannot. I cannot. My index uh, function here doesn't work with such big. Um, can you imagine when you index? Look what happened when you just index this. Uh, you know. When you just index this, look what happened on Nick Hunter. Okay, look what happened. Look Hunter, Rick, uh, and so you see, see what, see what I'm talking about. So imagine, imagine, with a text like this. If I want to index this, so I have a demonstration because uh, unfortunately. Farmaker, I go. I reached the limit of Farmaker storage capa capabilities in the capacities in the field uh, when I, I I try to index with my method this text. So I have another one here. Just to, oh, just this. Look this. Just this sentence is one sentence. Look what happened when I try to index this. Uh, here. Index. Comments. And this. Look at this. Down, 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 again, 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 again. I'm not done. See, now I'm done. So all of this, 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 all of this. Again, 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 again. Okay, this is what happened for this sentence. So now you understand the pain of the indexing. So it's fine index when you have uh, 24657, Nevada, North Las Vegas, that's okay. But when you start having this, you don't want to index that, especially if you have 80,000 records, okay? So if you want to wreck your file, here what you do, if you want to wreck it. You do this, and you replace all the 80,000 records with this text, OK? Let's say I have 80,000 records with this, OK? And I want to, so this, 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 this. OK, so my file now is, let me close it to make sure that it, it, it got all. So my file is now uh, 506 megabytes on disk, okay? It was 82 before I started, okay? Uh, so now I open it again, okay? And is my comment not indexed? So I'm indexing this and I say all. Here what happened. So, 
So it was 500 megabytes, okay? So you see the time that he requires to index that records, those records, okay? So that the time uh, is spending to do that, okay? So he's not doing that all the time. I'm not saying that Farmaker is doing that all the time. It might do it, uh, let's say when you delete a lot of records, for example, or you replace more, or he, he, let's say you import new records, for example. Okay, and you import into fields that are indexed. That's what he's doing. Sometimes you say, what the heck is this? My import is so slow. Yeah, it is slow. you importing in every, every single field you are importing are indexed. So the farmer could not only need to import the, the thing. Uh, I remember one day um, uh, we, we had a, uh, another engineer at RCC, and I was waiting on him to send me kind of a a file with all the importation from the customer okay and after a week i came to him and said okay hey uh do you are you are you done with the importation of the customer he said no because the file is still crashing oh why yeah because the file is 200 gigabytes what he was doing he was importing hundred and a hundred of uh, fields into a database where all their fields were indexed so that was making the file super huge and, and and the importation was taking forever like five days four days of importation can you imagine because we were talking about millions of records here so it was importing in the database for four days i i switched off all those indexes and it took me sit down it took me 25 minutes to import the thing Okay, so because imagine I have only eighty thousand records here on one field. Imagine you have a, th a million of records in two hundred fields. You, you know what I mean? So it and 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 my file here is local. My file here and my 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 fan is my fan here is completely is burning hell. Uh, right now because Farmaker is like 77% of my CPU doing this okay so this is to explain to you if you have your file on the server this will have been 81% of the CPU of your server and then you have people saying okay, hey what's happened to the server server is slow uh, yeah it's slow because you have somebody that activated all the indexes in all the fields right so it's a little bit dram my demonstration is dramatic i agree but is that the only that the only way you can understand what's going on here so now let me close this file again and see how what the weight on this now it cannot be the same something wrong here maybe it was indexed already why okay i don't know what happened but anyway so, uh, you, but you understand the point here. I don't know why I said it's still saying 500 megabytes here. It should be much more than that. Anyway, okay. I don't know, today, Farmaker wants to destroy my, my demonstration all, all the way. Anyway, so you understand the point. He did something. I don't know why it didn't inflate the file so much, but it, anyway. So if you have any question, what the what your rule of, of thumb? Okay, the rule is to be conservative here check your your indexes you know don't activate the indexes that you don't need make sure for example ids you know everything that is id yeah you can you can let let do let the system do what you what he wants to do when you are sure that you will never ever uh index the the field uh like this one i'm sure i will never have to use that so you make sure that it never happen okay and you make make sure that all the big text. So what happened? Oh, that that good a good thing. What happened if I destroy the index here? Is it stay? If it stayed 500, yeah, it will. In my opinion, it will, it will still stay 500 because Farmaker is. Uh, yeah, it's it wasn't. It, 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 but if I if I compact the file, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure I'm going to have her. Let's compact it just for fun. Compact is you save as save a copy as compacted. Okay, that that will be the equivalent of uh, of a defragmentation. Okay, so uh, 
here what I've done is a lot. Uh, I created indexes and uh, index, and I removed it, and I created a new one. So I did a lot of in and out, in and out, in and out. So pretty much here. Uh, so if I open the file, where is the file here? Uh, so this one. Okay. So how much? Uh, how much is the the file size? It's 425. Four, you see, I gain. Uh, 100, 100 megabyte, almost 100 megabyte, just by compacting the copy, right? So uh, see the difference here. But the, because when you do things like that, FileMaker is not clearing the empty space. I mean, you let's say you have a big buckets like this, and um, and uh, you you remove, um, you know, or let's say you have a building, okay? And uh, suddenly you remove everything, all the building number, the the story, the 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 floor number two. And the floor number seven and eight are empty, right? Compacting database would be like, okay, I get rid of the floor, right? I get rid of the floor number two. I get rid of so the the, the story is is less high, you know, uh, the building. Okay. Nick uh, briefly said all of the fields that will be searched where his minimum is usual to trigger pharmaceutical prison. Yeah. So Nick briefly said all oh, for fields that will be such. Yeah, actually, okay. Uh, if you want the if you want the rule here, okay. If you want the rule, de-index what you sure that nothing will go there. Or like uh, that most of most of the fields see here. Most of the fields are not indexed because I don't I don't search on it and stuff like that. But uh, you know the pretty much. Uh, that's another rule that I apply to myself, uh, and that that I think that would be the best rule. Everything that is not displayed on the layouts, don't index. There's plenty. We have plenty of fields that are we are not we are never display, or or we are displaying, but we are not we are not editing. Okay, so not anything that is editable. When it's not editable, don't index it. That's it. You know, it's uh, it's it's that could be a rule too. You know. Uh, I don't. I, there's not really a, a rule that apply because there's so many exceptions, uh, like the file, the, the file, the size of the file, right? Uh, you, you don't care if the, you know, if you have a small file, you don't care. If you have a little amount of record, like 2,000 records, 3,000 records or less, you don't really care. Um, you care only when you start having issues because. The file is big, because when you hear the incidents when you have a big file, you say, okay, oh yeah, I don't care if I have a big file. My server has gigabytes and gigabytes and gigabytes. Yeah, it's true, but when you start doing backups, for example, uh, you want the hourly backup and you want a daily backup and you want a weekly backup and you want a monthly backup. So your hard drive for backup start to be like be big and huge and fat because the file is big. So let's say you have a uh, 200 copy a week, right? And you want it to be, uh, you know, because you have an hourly, a daily, and stuff like that. Let's say you have 100 copy a week. Yeah, you want the file to be uh, as lean as possible. We don't. Have, okay, that is, the explanation is we don't have control on those things, and and uh, and uh, so all what we can explain is what we can, you know, uh, demonstrate. So the the the, the thing is. The the thing I, I you know I, when I demonstrate how big the index is when you have just one sentence like this, right? Just just a sentence like this. So this will be the rule. I mean, you know, you know that when you have a big, uh, when you have even such small text here, it is uh, problematic. Uh, the index is inflating a lot. Michael Gravel has a question. Why not index the master index field? file in a relationship only the foreign not index the master index file in a relationship comma only the foreign is what he said yeah but uh, what happens if we want to search on one of those let's say you have this situation here I, I agree that could be a technique let's say I'm, I'm in the situation here oh, you mean, I think a... he means master ID yeah well if you guys don't write it correct yeah so oh. Mike why not index the master ID oh yeah you can do that I don't you know we don't care but see I deactivate this uh, the index on this one and uh, the all the relationships still working even though it's not indexed uh, because uh, the the index in that situation 
uh, from from this account, it's, see from that account to the contact. I'm using the ID account. This one needs to be indexed. So if I'm doing a demonstration, for example, let's say I'm going to call, it's right, it's right. You can do that. You don't need that. You don't need that. But if, let's say, okay, okay, demonstration. If you have two minutes, that's a good demonstration. Let's say I'm going to contact, right? Uh, I'm going to contact Charlie Cheney, okay? So let's go to contact, okay? And I want to do this. I'm in contact and I want to go to account. And I want to show, I want to see the account of this guy. See here, now he, show, he showed me the account that is related to that contact. What happened here in account, he indexed back the field. Because I I went to the other side. So if let's say I, let's say I force I force the index not to work in account here, I force it not to index it, not do it. No, he's not doing it. Okay, but don't work anymore. The relationship is broken. Why? Is because he cannot index from from this relationship to this one. He cannot go. Remember what I told you at the beginning. Farmaker has the particularity to have a relationship that goes to A to B and B to A at the same time. If you never, never, ever need the A to B, the B to A, yeah, you know, if you don't need from contact to see the account there, you don't care. You can do it, you know. Uh, you can deactivate the thing. But if you need in that situation to have it on both ways, you need to access, see, I click this, automatically create. Now, just because I'm going there, bam, is back. And automatically, automatically, he created the index back. And that is the minimal. Okay. So, yeah, it's, it's true, you, it's right, and not in the same time, depending on what you do. If, if you never, ever have this situation, okay, never have from contact to, to account, yeah, in that case, now you can deactivate the, the index here, and it will never affect... It will never affect this relationship because this one is so now in in this relationship is in contact is the foreign key for account that need to be indexed. Let's say I'm deactivating this one and I'm forcing the deactivation. Here, what happened? Broken. I don't have contacts anymore. Okay. So now I'm going back here and I say, okay, hey, uh, in co in contacts and the ID account, the foreign key for this one, I do again the index I create the index and boom it's back see he's doing bam okay now so 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 Dennis Chow asked a kind of a generic question so what is a recommendation if you need to search a big text field I for me I just bite the bullet and index it that's just me but yeah yeah so. you you when you okay when you have a big uh, that always be a problem in farmaker anyway to search in a big text you know it, first of all it will be slow Obviously, slower. It will be sl not. Sl okay. Let me rephrase. You want it will be slower. So you need to uh, pretty much you need to um, uh, avoid that as much as possible. So, uh, but if you need, you do it, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I mean. So, for example, for I, I, I listen. I we make a lot of recommendations here to everyone, but I I, I think it's useful to have, take a step back just and take a breath. Um, for example, we have a contact solution or the, like for those of you buy, download a copy of Starting Point and you buy our training. We, there's a record in there for you and we have notes in there and we keep track of everything that was sent to you. And most emails they send back to us are supposed to be input in there. There's an automatic feed for that that feeds them in there. And so we turn the indexing on for those notes. Now I have 1.6 million notes in there. The indexing's on. The file is four or five gigabytes. I don't care because if I need to do a search in there, I can do it and it comes back pretty quick. And so I don't particularly worry that I'm making a big file. I'd rather have a bigger file but higher performance for me personally. That's how yeah. I work. So I, I, I would not get too horrifically 
concerned about this, at least on a large fee. I mean, on, you know, turn it on where you need it, but turn it off. I think the goal is I mean, the common sense would be turn it off where you don't need it. Right, Nick? Makes yeah. sense? Yeah, exactly. So exactly what I said. Uh, so uh, you you turn off what you what you sure you will never need. Yeah. Uh, uh, and you turn on with the you, – you put on this situation, on this uh, here, you said – non automatically create if needed okay you got to go back to your screen chief there when you oh yeah sorry yeah yeah sorry uh you go there and uh, you say okay you go to the situation where you say um none and you and you check automatically create index yeah as so it turns it on as needed uh yeah. a amy sheely says on a few files i've turned off indexing on almost all the fields and made a stored calculation of all the things i'd search on by name so um so she basically deliberately channels the search to one field only. Does that makes sense. So she she creates this combined calculation field that she searches on with just the fields in that that she wants to search. So she kind of tightly controls it that way. There's nothing wrong with that. No, no, no. It look it's uh, it's uh, that that's why you know a recommendation is very hard here because it's like you said uh, for example you have a four gigabyte. Uh, you have you have a four gigabyte file and you don't give a damn about uh, you know uh, what you want you want the results. Now yeah. if you need to go, if you need to go if you need to go Best Buy and buy a bigger hard drive you buy a new a new hard drive right that's it. Yeah. So yeah that's one situation that perfectly understandable. For example you know my example I, I I thought about the importation of data that was taking days. Okay, and uh, we couldn't wait days. Okay, so in that case, yes, I deactivate all the indexes because I didn't want the index. I want the thing inside the database. Yeah. You know, I want to import that. Okay, and then after that, we take care of the index. So each situation is kind of is kind of uh, unique. Now, now, as I said, if you if you as I said, if you have a small file, uh, two tables, ten feet, ten field by table, and, uh, you don't even damn about this. You don't even think about it. Um, now, if you start having a big file. With multiple tables and a lot of fields and a lot of data in fields and stuff like that. Plus, you're so, is, you are on server. Plus, you are on cloud. Plus, you have a lot of users. Uh, yeah. Now you start having. Uh, yeah. You need to nah. start taking care of this. Nah. Now you're fine. Just buy a bigger server and use server replication. We covered that over four days, right? Yeah. Problem solved. I mean, the re listen. We have customers with 50 gigabyte file maker files. Okay, it works. The technology works. No, um, sure, sure, sure. it's uh it's just uh, i i think this is a finesse fine tuning thing i would never say someone don't index i mean my, and this is back to dennis chow i would never say don't index the big field right because the flip side of that now i have a smaller file but people uh it can have a sandwich and get a coffee while they wait for the fine to occur that's bull <laughs> that's 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 that's, that's you've tr you've made one trade for a minor improvement in the size of the file, and you've totally destroyed the performance. So no, but I mean, yeah. I, I, no, I totally understand. But I'm saying if you don't need to go there, don't. Right? Yeah, that, don't that's what exactly. I All yeah. right. So uh, thank you, Moki, for that clarification. Appreciate it. Canberra 57. Is there a way to compact the files on the FileMaker server? Now you have to shut the files down and then run them and then compact them with Pro. Server, server. If you close the file and reopen it, will do a little bit of maintenance on it. But if you want to compress it, um, you've got to do that with Pro. Um, although I'm encouraged, you know, Claris. The last 18 months has been really kind of rough for Claris. Honestly, I sit back and I, you know, this is your. I'm heading towards year 31 of doing this job, and for Nick, it's been longer than that. And and I've been watching Claris, and I, and. It's been kind of a traumatic experience for the people down there to convert and to switch to uh, their new development methodology. And I'm actually writing about that section of the book right now, this agile development. But 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 when we're talking about server, the, they are finally putting some things in the server we've been asking for for a long time. And um, I'm not sure why there was so much friction to adding these things, but clearly there's a discussion about enhance server capabilities uh having the server do some of the sorting for us if it can under certain conditions we have a brand new test uh, uh high-end mac mini i7 with all the high-end memory and everything and we're going to use it to be doing some testing on that not so much to tell you how fast it goes on that machine but to see where that sort kind of comes on and comes off where the server will help you so that so 
it's there's a lot of moving pieces of this and there's really not always a hard concrete fast rule there's generally good things to do generally good things not to do right what you'll find out with filemaker is that is that if you can follow the lean design and make good decisions your users will benefit from that but the filemaker product is getting better at trying to compensate for bad developers right i i i ran into a guy the other day nick and he's like i'm like hey do you need some He's like, I don't know how to do any of this API stuff or whatever, and then I don't know how to do the server thing. And I'm like, and then he goes, but that, but I'm a FileMaker expert. And I'm like, if you can't do API stuff and you don't know how to do anything FileMaker servery, but you just hang out in Pro all day, I don't know if that qualifies you as a FileMaker expert. I think you know part of the product line, but not really expert. Well, there's a lot of people like that, and they and they've been using FileMaker for a long time. So because they've been using it at a junior to mid level for 20 years in their heads they've qualified themselves as experts Expert, and, they're not, yeah. and, they're, and they're not certified either they've just been doing it a long time and i'm not going to argue with them but the point is as claris has identified that demographic group of people they are trying to help them make faster solutions and one of the things they're doing is making the server you know download more data to the client have the client do more stuff if it can have the server help you more if it can if it's got the extra processors it's not too busy the, but the, that's, another, that's another thing that <laughs> needs to be taken care of in consideration um and i think it's a it's a it's also the reason, one of the reason why the server is getting better like this. FileMaker, and actually that also why FileMaker is still an Apple product. Uh, FileMaker is a critical part of the Apple um, uh, operational, um, everyday operational kind of capabilities. Uh, uh, FileMaker is used at, at Apple like in the industrial way the biggest customer of farmaker by far is apple you know yeah are, i would i would say about a third of the uh, uh database systems down at, at apple and apple would never admit to this but i would say based on what i could tell probably about a third of their systems run on filemaker so yeah so they need it to go faster yeah. um and and i think the people down there claris they're getting this agile development methodology so you're starting to see these updates so we expect to see a server update so every four months about you're going to see an update. Yeah. We just got the pro update. Somewhere there's going to be a server update, but Claris has been kind of squishy yeah. on when we're going to yeah. see that. Yeah. But we're going to bring that and talk about that because we are testing it. We want to get the stopwatch out and see what it does for us. And, and even, you know, two or three years before I left over there, uh, we started seeing a lot of uh, what they call our, far, uh, you know, our engineer exchange. Uh, people coming from the, pharma, from the Apple world Okay, from the Apple side of the company and join the the, 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 the workforce at FileMaker to work on server, especially on server. Uh, we talk, we're talk we talking about a lot of security because, you know, Apple are, are completely paranoid about security uh, for, for, for good reason. For good reason. I was about to say for good reason. Yeah. So, for, yeah. for good reason. And so they are paranoid with this. So they, that's why they say, okay, uh, we need, okay, uh, at Fabrica, they say, oh, well, yeah, we don't know that. We don't know to do that. No, no product. We send you the guys that knows. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so pretty much they start with this, the security, and then they start continuing sending uh, engineers from Apple to Fabrica, right? Good, good, good. All right, cool. Well, we're going to wrap it up. We're going to nickel kick off tomorrow about themes and styles and shared custom themes and shared styles and rolling your own theme and then naming it, you know, whatever. We call it Mookie, uh, Mook, Mook, Opaque Mookie or uh, or Brilliant Kin or uh, TK uh, Turquoise, right? So you have your own little name for your uh, theme, right? I like, I like Opaque Mookie, right? <laughs> so... Uh, Anyway, Mookie sounds like a color. What's Mookie? I don't know. All right, Nick, are you good for tomorrow? I'm good for tomorrow. And we got Orange Lobster. Orange Lobster, right? Orange Lobster is a theme. Very orange. My daughter would love that. Oh, she loves orange. All right, folks, that's it for today. We'll catch you tomorrow. Sorry about the hang-ups with this morning uh, broadcast, or with the beginning of the broadcast. Uh, tomorrow, d day one of Nick's theme broadcast, all right? Okay.
guys just stepped up the whole way. Calm, cool, collected the quarterback. Great read, good patience. More importantly, great job up front protecting this quarterback to give you a chance. And that's all you can ask for. Trying to rally down 10. 925 to go here in the fourth. Short motion by Amendola from the left. Brady takes the shot to step. Stands in, throws it left for Amendola. Reaches up and starts a high throw and lands inside the 10. Rolling to the 9. Oh, slightly behind him, but Danny makes the grab.